the revolutionary Power Roller XL, part of the Roland Rack Hose Management System. To start, make sure the battery pack is fully charged. Once the charger has a green light, take the battery pack off the charger. Make the power connection to the Power Roller XL. Check breaker switch to make sure it's in the upward position. To start rolling, move the slider bar to the left side. Choose the proper coupling jaw set for the hose to be rolled. The 6 inch with 7 and a quarter inch capability is standard. An optional extension set for 5 inch coupling jaws and smaller is also available. To install a jaw set, insert jaw onto coupling jaw mount and insert the pin. Repeat on other side. For the 4 inch jaw set, place extension onto coupling jaw mount and insert pin. Then insert jaw onto extension and insert another pin. Place other jaw on other side. To convert the 2.5 inch to 3 inch jaw set, simply reverse the PVC plates using an Allen wrench. Remember, for all jaw sets, the larger jaw goes on the motor side. To operate, spin the jaws so their vertical and pinheads are to the back. Retract both coupling jaws. Proper placement of the coupling jaws is critical. Set motor side jaw in first. Rotate the idler side and set the jaw onto the coupling. The jaws are only meant to capture the coupling. Calibrate the jaw set for proper fit. Loosen the drum lock by turning counterclockwise. Turn the red handled latch in or out. The jaw should be flush with the edge of the disc. Tighten the lock with your hand. Set hose guide pins close to the hose, but not touching the hose. Hold the trigger in while you pull back slightly on the handle for a tight roll. Drain and roll. With its 16 inch pneumatic tires, it will operate on all terrains. Release the hair trigger when the swivel tire is about to hit the coupling. Place the hose over the roll and the coupling onto the back of the unit. Wheel the unit to the rig and set down two feet away from the tailboard right under the LDH bed. Set the brakes. Pull back both drain attachment releases at the same time. This drops the unit to the ground. Drop the roll of hose by first retracting one jaw, then the other. Smooth pulls will work best as you flake the LDH onto the hose bed. It should take about a minute with two or three firefighters. One firefighter is positioned at the front of the hose bed, the other toward the back of the rig or on the tailboard. An optional firefighter can be placed at the Power Roller XL to assist in pulling the first part of the roll. To offload the LDH roll, set the brakes, retract the coupling jaws, pull about two feet of hose and fold onto the roll itself. The coupling should be facing forward. Release the drain attachment. Lift the front handle and set it onto the Power Roller XL towers. Facing the roll, grab the top of it with one hand on either side and your thumbs inside the store's coupling. Pull and rock the roll towards you. As it does, your thumb should flip the coupling. Make sure the coupling is at 12 o'clock. The roll is left for the Roland Rack XL to pick up and load onto the rig or for loading later. To load the LDH roll, make sure the jaws are open. Release the drain attachment lifting it up and onto its towers. Set the unit in front of the LDH roll. Set the brakes. Grab the open coupling and rock the roll into the power roller. Fold the hose onto the roll with the coupling facing forward. Set the drain attachment down. Lean down on the handle, lifting the front end of the power roller until the drain attachment latches lock. Release the brakes. The roll can now be transported and loaded. As another option, as one firefighter uses the Power Roller XL, the firefighter with a Roland Rack XL takes the roll to the rig for loading. All hose work time is cut in half. With the brakes set, 4-inch hose and smaller can even be drawn to the Power Roller XL unit. After Power Roller XL use, press the silver button on the power cord. Unplug the battery pack. Place the battery pack on the charger. Recharge time varies from one to six hours depending on how depleted the batteries are at the time. The red and green lights should both light up when initially plugged into the battery pack. After the pack is finished charging, the red light will turn off. For battery longevity, remove the battery pack from the charger. The batteries have no memory. Maintenance is simple. 
keep it dirt free and lube all pins with a spray like WD-40. A petroleum-based lube on the crossbars will keep the slider bar working smoothly. From time to time, adjustment of the slider bar is needed by tapping with a rubber mallet. Visit RolandRack.com for more information.